I'm very glad you're here. I, uh, I want to talk about the disaster artist, which I loved, and uh, want to get to the Golden Globes. One of the things that happened to the Golden Globes, and obviously this happened in the last couple of days before we had you booked on this show, and I'm glad you're still here. Uh, you were wearing a Time's Up button, like a lot of guys at the show, and some women during uh, your time on stage uh, said that was hypocritical. They went to Twitter and said that was hypocritical based on their experiences that they've had with you. They made some allegations. I wonder if you have read those tweets, and if so, how you respond to them. Uh, yes, I, uh, I was sent a couple of the tweets, so yeah, I did read them. Um, I haven't uh, responded. Um, I think... Um, well, the ones I read were not accurate, um, but one of the things that I've learned is that this is a conversation that obviously needs to be had. There are people, women and, and others, who have not been a part of this conversation, and I, I truly believe, and why I was wearing the pin, is that they need to be a part of this conversation, and um, so I support that. Ali Sheedy also uh, had a tweet. She since took it down. Uh, I heard you mention last night on, on Stephen Colbert's show that you had directed her in a play. You'd had a good experience with her. Have you reached out to her uh, as someone? And are you not curious as to why she would do that if you had, uh, from your perspective, a good relationship with her? Yes, I had a great, I had a great relationship with her. Uh, she took the tweet down. I don't know. I really don't. Not curious enough, though, to, to reach out to her uh, as someone that you've you had a good relationship with before and to, to try to understand why she would have done that? I don't know. I... It was so shocking. I, I, I don't know. I just... I, I guess I'm just letting it be. Last thing I'll say, or ask about this, I should say. Uh, this moment, you know, I think is this uh, an exciting time because it's allowing us all remember, especially as men, that there were other people in different perspectives for things that we experienced. Mm -hmm. uh, does this Time's Up movement and this moment we're having right now, does it make you look back at all and question any of your behavior in the past based on, on this new perspective we're getting on how women have, have perceived things for so long? I mean, I think what I really learned, and, and um, being here and, and this week and, and that show that we were, you know, it was, mm -hmm. I mean, it was so powerful in there. That we heard um, some amazing things from some amazing women. Like I said, you know, um, there are stories that need to get out. There are um, people that need to be heard. Um, I have my own side of, of this story, but um, I believe in, you know, these people that have been underrepresented getting their stories out enough that I will, you know, hold back um, things that I could say just because I believe in it that much. And if I have to take a knock because I'm not going to, you know, try and, you know, actively refute things, then I will because I believe in it that much. Uh, well, I want to also move on uh, to the film you made. Okay. <laughs> uh, and thank you for uh, speaking to me about those things. I really appreciate it.